The Cheap Life Stretching, Saving, and Surviving with Kim Hey everybody, let's make some thick syrup. First we're going to start with some mapleine extract, it's imitation. Measuring cups, various sizes, a little water, a couple tablespoons, a stirring whisk or spoon, whichever you prefer. Measuring spoons, and the best part, not beet sugar, but cane sugar. Cane sugar does a lot better at making cakes, cookies, pies, and thick syrup. So let's get started. We need to bring this to a boil for a couple of minutes and it'll make about a pint for us. And what we're doing is we're using the recipe box on the back. There's the recipe. But we're just going to go ahead and do this just in case somebody doesn't know how to cook or they just want to see it done just so they can learn how to make it and make it properly. And we've got a, a lot of young ones out there that might just like to know. Okay, so we need to turn our burner on. Turn it onto a medium to start with. And add two tablespoons of water. We're going to need a fourth cup of sugar. Cane sugar. It really is the best stuff. Comes right out of the cane plant. Just sprinkle it around in there. It'll start getting hot. Or warm, actually, because we have it on a medium setting. One and a half cups. Oh, I forgot to mention. k corn syrup. Now, if you got diabetes, you might want to use alternatives and uh, a thickener, other than the Cairo syrup. But for now we're going to work with this. So we need one and a half cups of corn syrup. I'm going to use a half cup measurement. And I probably should be stirring this in, but shouldn't hurt too much by not doing that. Half cup. We're not going to scrape it out just yet. And this is going to be good on pancakes, and biscuits with bacon, eggs. They have a thinner recipe for this, but it's kind of like water. And it's because it uses mostly water. There we go. And turn your bottle, get that last little bit that could drip off. Okay, and add it. Use your whisk. Turn your whisk, just kind of scrape it out inside. Start stirring a little bit because it is on a medium heat. And just get everything combined pretty good. Now our last is one half teaspoon of mapleine. So open our bottle up and find our half teaspoon measuring teaspoon. If I can get them separated now. Pour you a half teaspoon in there. Oops, a little too much. Pour out most of it, then pour the rest back in the bottle. And when you're making the thinner syrup, you if you don't want it as sweet, you can all use alternative sweeteners such as stevia powder, or you could actually use less sugar, and that's on the thinner syrup, so it's not so sickening sweet, sticky sweet. So you might like something salty with this syrup. You could use it on, oh my goodness, probably chips, corn chips. Who knows, there's all kinds of things you could probably use this with. Okay, we have to bring it to a boil. So adjust the temperature up to high or super medium high. 
it'd be number nine or eight on your stove if you are have a numbered dial. Okay, we can let that sit. And it shouldn't take it long to start boiling. There it comes. And it is on the boil. You can see how it bubbles, but there's also a, a film that's forming over the top of it. That's just sugars. If the boil gets too hard and it wants to come up the pan, I mean really start coming up the pan, you can either lift the pan up off the burner and adjust the heat a little bit, bring it down some couple of numbers just to a regular boiling point, which would be between five and six. Depending on how your stove operates, you may want to know which does give it a really good boil versus boiling it over. And I'm not timing this yet. I'm going to grab my timer, but we'll sit and watch that boil for a minute. Oops, my timer is missing. So we're just going to stir this. It won't kill it if we overboil it or underboil it. It just makes sure all the sugar and ingredients have incorporated well and it cooks them down nice. And the cane sugar actually needs that boiling. Kind of just melt it down so it will combine well and it will do what it naturally does as a sweetener, thickener. Goodness. I just watch that steam that's coming up. If you've got it on a super hard boil and it's really steaming, that could really give you some burns. But that means you just go put some cool water on it. Let the water run over your skin for a couple minutes. Take that heat out of it. Then put some coconut oil on, maybe. And it looks like it's getting fairly thick. Let's lift it from the burner. Wow. Didn't have all the bubbles in it, but you can see how it's a little bit thicker than a normal runny syrup. And as this cools, it will get thicker. So when you're done cooking it, just let it... Put it on a different burner, hot pad on a counter, wait for it to cool, and then see what your thickness is. Now this pan has kind of its round but kind of corners in the bottom. And so I want to go around, kind of scrape those out a little bit as you go. It smells pretty good too. Okay. I'm going to assume that's probably at least two minutes boiling. And we'll let her sit for a few minutes and come back and see how it responds thickness-wise. Right, we are back to see how our syrup is doing. Wow, pretty sticky. And it's running slow. That would be really nice for a set of biscuits, a little butter on them, homemade biscuits. They always come out the best. You see that shine on the top. And that's a good thing. Now, when you want to use this after storing it, just put it in the microwave or on the stove for a minute, heat it up, and then it should pour really nice if, in fact, it does get a little thicker. That's thick. So you can tell as it gets cooler, it's going to get quite a bit thicker. 
So this, this would be actually a heat and serve type of syrup. Oh, nice. Wow. And there you have it. Homemade syrup and much cheaper than buying it off of store shelves. And you could add other flavors to this. Most likely with extracts of almond. Uh, if you pre prefer imitation maple and mint or lemon or just get creative, let your creative side loose on this or just have it as it is and if you like this video hit the subscribe button for more good videos